Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And yes, from the title, I'll be doing my NBA playoff predictions. And yes, before we get into it, there is still uh, two more games to be played, which is uh, the play-in for the eighth seed. And I was going to do it after it, but I have some stuff on. So I'm going to include those four teams into this prediction. And all, mainly the a whole Western and Eastern Conference playoff is set. So you'll just go, by, bear with me. I'm going to go through each one of them. Uh, explain a little bit of it, and hopefully this video is not too long. So sit back, relax. Here's my predictions. So we'll start off. I got the bracket up. So we've got Western Conference. We'll start off in the Western Conference. We'll go to the bracket. Now there's this bracket challenge on the NBA app that you can go see. So what plate was played today, or when you're watching this, was the Bulls Raptors game, Thunder Pelicans game. For my tips though, yesterday was Hawks Heat. I tipped Hawk Heat to win. They didn't, and then Lakers turned the Wolves, Lakers to win, and they did. And then today, I tipped Bulls to win, and also wanted to tip Pelicans to win, but they could not get it done at home. So anyway, this is what the bracket looks like. There's an NBA Pick'em bracket challenge. I want to go through, and we're going to do my tips for them. So first off, we'll reset. Here we go. So for Western Conference, we got the first seed taking on the eighth seed, which either is going to be the Thunder or the Timberwolves now. Denver Nuggets, of course, top top of the table. You got Nicole Jokic, Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr. It's pretty obvious that you got you got to go Denver. So I'm gonna go Denver, but I think they're gonna be run for their money because you're versing either the Thunder or Timberwolves. I think they'll win in five. I think Denver won't sweep. I think Denver, Minnesota Thunder can give Denver a shot at a game. So I'm gonna go Denver is gonna win that in five. And moving down, you got Phoenix Suns v LA Clippers. So you got this LA Clippers are still out. With Paul George, I don't know when he'll get back. But I do think Sun's going to win this one pretty easy. If you've got Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, Chris Paul, who have all have deep playoff experience. KD won two rings. The Booker and Chris Paul went to the finals in 2021. They've been to the past the second round. So I think the Suns would easily win this. But I think Clippers, though, they're without with Paul George. And the Suns haven't lost with KD in the lineup. So Suns have not lost with Kevin Durant in the lineup at all. They have not lost in the lineup at all. So I am going uh, to go with uh, the Suns, of course. They're, they're winning six. Clippers will Clippers will get a few games in, but they're not going to go to seven. Now, down to the big game. Sacramento v. Warriors. Now, I do have in this some information to explain it a bit more. So if I'm quick, clicking off the screen, just let me know. Anyway, so Sacramento, third seed v. the sixth seed. Now, I, I do believe Warriors going to win this. Easily going to win this. There's a lot to digest. This is a great matchup for the Warriors. Warriors, at the end of the season, we're either going to get a fifth seed or a sixth seed. If we got the fifth seed, we'll be taking on the Suns. We don't want that. On how our road issues are going, we want the sixth seed to versus an inexperienced Kings team. So it's a championship team versus a non-experienced. You've got the defending champs, Curry, who've been in the finals a long, for a long time, versus a Kings team who have not been in the playoffs since 2006, or whenever they were. So... Who, who are you picking? You're picking a non-experienced team or a championship team. Think of this. Be the best starting lineup in the league is Curry, Thompson, Wiggins, Green, and Looney. Now, when Wiggins will be... W Wiggins will get back. He's he, he's gonna pre he's predicted to play first round in the playoffs. So, we will get Wiggins back. With Wiggins in the lineup, we're the number one starting five in the NBA. Then you've got... On the bench, you've got... Poole, DiVincenzo, GP2, Kaminga, Jamarco Green, Anthony Lamb, Moses Mooney. That's a deep bench there. Adding Pearl, DiVincenzo, GP2, their defense, along with um, Wiggins' defense, will easily beat the Kings bench in Monk, Lyles, Mitchell, Len, Edwards, Dozer. Like, who are you going to pick? I, I think Warriors more experienced. Their road issues aren't, weren't great in the regular season, but I think it will, the playoffs are way different than the regular season. So Warriors, will, will, they'll get tested. They'll win in six. I'm going Warriors in six. Now, moving down, Lakers-Memphis. Now, this is a series I'm very excited for. I don't see Memphis winning this. How will LeBron and Lakers beat Timberwolves in the play-in? Lakers, um, Memphis are missing Adams and Clark, who are both out. They're two big men out, and Clark is one of the best offensive rebounders in the game. And I think LeBron, Davis, Russell, Vanderbilt, Schroeder are going to be amazing. I think I'm going to go the Lakers in this one. Lakers will win in six. Grizzlies also the most hated team in the league, you know that, and I'm I'm gonna go for the upset. I think I think everyone, most people, are gonna go for the Lakers just because a, a playing team going to the second round. Like, 
Memphis will get a couple of wins, but I think Lakers in the end will get the victory. Now I'll go down to the Eastern Conference. Bucks v either the eight seed in Chicago or Miami. I'm going to go Bucks easy. I'm going to go the Bucks 100%. So ten, I believe Miami will beat Chicago. So I am going to be. I am going to do uh, in six. You got Giannis. Giannis, Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday, who went to the finals in 2021. I think they're a pretty easy team. You got Bobby Porters. He probably would be the sixth man of the year this year. They deserve the first seed. The Heat, on the other hand, Heat will win some games, but I think Heat, I think Heat will win uh, against the play-in. But Bucks in six. Now, this is a one I'm hard to tip. These next few I'm hard to tip. Cavs v. Knicks. Sorry, just this game was pretty hard to tip in the first round. These two teams, Donovan Mitchell, Darius Garland, Julius Randle, Jalen Brunson, like a fifth v. fourth seed, particularly in this Eastern Conference, is so hard to pick. I'm going to go Cavs, but I think this will be pushed to seven. I think this will be a game seven in in Cleveland for the victory. It's going to go to seven. I don't think it won't be a sweep. It won't be. It will either go to six or seven, but I think Cavs will edge it out with Donovan Mitchell playing as amazing lately. Julius Randle, Jalen Brunson being amazing in New York, but I just don't, I think. It could go either way. It's hard to pick this one. Either way, I'm, I'm, I just think my gut is saying Cavs. Now, moving on to the 3v6 seed, Philadelphia, easy. They're going to sweep them. Philly's going to sweep the Nets. I think the new look Nets with Malik, Mikael Bridges, uh, Jordan Finney-Smith, Spencer Zimwini, those guys, yes, they're good. They can carry them, but I think Philly with Joel Embiid, James Harden will easily sweep them. I reckon they will. Brooklyn might go up one game, but I, I, for me, I think... Philadelphia, sweep them easy. Then you've got Celtics v. Atlanta. Celtics in five. No need to talk about that. Trey Young did that play in, but you got Boston. Defend, um, Eastern Conference champions from last year. Easy. Now we get to the semi-finals. In the West, Denver v. Phoenix. This is a very... I, I, this one's also hard to pick for me. I have from notes here. You got, I, I'm going to go Suns because it'll be a tough game. You've got Jokic... And Kevin Durant. On the other hand, you got Murray and Porter Jr. But you also got Kevin, Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, Chris Paul, DeAndre Ayton. Like, there's so much. I think Kevin Durant won't want to lose in the second round. And him, the Suns have been amazing with Kevin Durant in the lineup. I think they've not been beaten with Kevin Durant. And yes, this, yes, the Nuggets were the first seed. I don't. I haven't seen Jokic go. I think Jokic went to the semis all conference in 2020. One, I think, but I just believe Phoenix Suns will get past the second round. It'll, it'll be pushed to seven, seven or six is my prediction. Suns will go to the conference finals. Now, my boy, the Warriors and the Lakers. If you're looking at this, and this is why I think the Warriors deserve that six spot. It's a pretty easy run. Warriors Lakers. Uh, in the regular season, I think Lakers beat Warriors three out of the four times meeting. <sighs> Splash Bros are going to be strong. They're going to win in five. LeBron and Tanamis are their only carry, really. you got D'Angelo Russell, but I think championship DNA from last year and sometime through this year, the Warriors at home amazing. On the road, okay, but I think playoffs with Wiggins back with GP2. GP2 didn't play, I don't think, any of the Lakers games. When they're in, the defense will be better. Warriors are going to be unbelievable. That The first two games at home, like they'll win that. So Warriors are going to win that in uh, five, I got. Then Eastern Conference, Bucks, Cavs. I am going to go Bucks in five. I just think Bucks in five to go back to the conference finals. Moving on. Philly, Boston. This is a hard one to pick. I have I've no idea what to pick in this one. You got 76ers, you got Celtics, Joel Embiid, Jason Tatum. Like, who are you going to go for? It's it's very hard. This is the hardest one to pick. Very hard to pick between Celtics and 76ers. Joel Embiid amazing in the paint. James Harden, Tobias Harris, Tyrese Maxey, great from three. Tatum and Brown are also great. So TD Garden, they're amazing at home, but it's so hard to pick. I I think Philadelphia from everyone, all the NBA people, and everyone is p- predicting Philadelphia to win. And I've got them winning in seven. This so Celtics can win this. Like this is the Hardest game to pick. I don't know. It could go either way. I think Philly wants to get to the finals. Celtics can get there from last year. They know what it takes. But I think Philly, easy. 
There it is, conference finals. Phoenix Warriors. Now, KD meets up against their old teammate Curry, and that I gotta go Warriors. They, this it's gonna be a tough matchup. This will get probably pushed to seven games, but I am agreeing this will go to six. I believe in the Warriors that they can get it done again and go to the finals. I'm telling you that now. Of course, Warriors go to finals. I'm not gonna say they're gonna get beaten. It'll be a tough matchup, particularly KD hasn't played against the Warriors since he re- since the bubble, I think. So. It's going to be a close game. Devin Booker v. Curry, Chris Paul v. Clay, Durant versus... Like, it's going to be tough. The defense, though, is the key for the Warriors. Wiggins, GP2. Amazing. Then the Eastern Conference Finals, Milwaukee v. Philly. Now, what did I say? I think I, I said Bucks in six, and I totally agree. Why, you might ask? It's also hard to pick. Bucks in six because I think Giannis, they, they're just four games away from getting to the finals again. So it's the last two NBA Finals in Bucks and Warriors in the Finals. Giannis will be amazing. You know, he's MVP. Chris Middleton, amazing. So there it is. There's my bracket, and they're the Finals. Warriors, Bucks. The last two NBA Finals, 2022 Warriors, 2021 Bucks. Who do you got? Warriors, easy. They're easily going to win in six. Another game in six. Now I've got to put in the points margin for game one. It'll be. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a seven point win. Seven point win, a full game one. There it is. There's my bracket, guys. Thanks for watching. There's my playoff bracket, and I'm also. I'm see what I mean by the Warriors' easiest run. You got Kings in the first round, then you got the Lakers, who are a new look team with LeBron, Anthony Davis. And then you've got the conference finals against Phoenix. It'll be a tough one, that. But I think they'll win this game, this NBA finals, easy. It'll be tough. Long way to go. But I'm also going to put out there... Uh, there's my bracket. So I'm also going to put out there, guys... I'm not going to do an update video. So the, I'm doing this now because I've got some stuff coming on this weekend. And the Warriors do play game one of the fo- of the first round against the Kings on the Sunday. But I'm away for some something. So... I'm not going to do an update video, so I'll probably post out a community post video of what's going to happen. So if I just don't, if I don't post, you know, I've got something on. So just wait until I post. So the main thing out of this, what I'm saying now, is just wait till I post. If I don't post, I will post something, but not straight away. So if Warriors win this first game, game one, there'll be probably be, there'll be a game review, but it might be a few days after. So just stay tuned till I post. You guys support me, so thanks for that. There's my bracket. NBA playoff predictions is what I got there. If you want to go do yours, get the NBA app. You can do this NBA pick'em bracket challenge. You can win up to get courtside seats, everything. That's what I got. I believe that this is going to be a pretty good playoffs. Kings, Warriors, I'm excited. Warriors don't even have to travel. They go, take, take a bus there. Pretty easy. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll also explain, if you didn't understand that update stuff, I'll put it in the in the description. You guys go check that out. Anyway, there's my 2023 NBA playoff predictions. Who is going to win the NBA Finals? There won't be another NBA playoff thing until the end of the season. So just stay tuned on the NBA app. You'll have everything up there. Updates on first round, semis, conference finals, everything. There we go. Thanks for watching. If I missed anything, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned. Get the NBA app for all this NBA info, ESPN app as well. And stay tuned till I post. So stay tuned, not until this next video. Stay tuned until I post. It's not going to be tomorrow. It might not be Saturday or Sunday. It might be a week away, but you guys just support me, so I, I appreciate it. Just stay tuned until Doorman posts, a community post, YouTube short, normal video, anything. NBA playoffs are about to begin. You guys stay tuned. And until next time, enjoy life and have fun. Also, if you haven't seen my NBA postseason video of my playing predictions or my NBA playlist, I'll put both of those at the end of the video for you guys to go check out. Go see that one.